Putting that on me. Cutting it pretty close there, Matt. Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Spin up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. Mark. What the hell happened? We ain't seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg Swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all Outer Rim Plants. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Sweet Mother Mercy. New exclusive video footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm. There's no telling what the Zerg will throw against us this time. Sir, we need to make sure our hardware and munitions are up to the challenge. Yeah, I'll check in with Swan down the armory. Knowing him, he's already got upgrades for us. I hate to ask, sir, but is there a reason that convict's still on my bridge? Easy, Matt. Tychus is one of my oldest friends. He helped me out of a real bind a few years back. I owe him. Well, your friend has a criminal record as long as... Mine? Believe me. If Tychus Finley wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. Understood, sir. Hey, everybody, our glorious leader has returned. <laughs> hey, man, what's up, cowboy? What do you got for me, Swan? Uh, the usual, building up our standard forces. Bringing my troops and hardware up to speed, huh? Yep, you can add upgrades for the tech right here on the console. But building an army on the run ain't cheap. You brought back credits this time, right? Look, I know money's been tight. But that artifact we just picked up from Marsar is gonna solve everything. Yeah, I've heard that before, brother. It's different this time. Yeah, I heard that one too. Hello everyone, and welcome to the fourth mission of my StarCraft II Brutal Watha Guide. We're going to be doing the mission Smash and Grab, but first I wanted to introduce the Hyperion, uh, specifically the Armory, but this is also going to go for the Lab as well. Um, and I just wanted to say that at the beginning of each video, I will be going over the upgrades of what I'm choosing and, and why I'm choosing those upgrades. Um, I just find that to be important, but if you don't want to uh, see what I'm upgrading and why I'm upgrading it, you can skip to the... Uh, there will be a timestamp in the description below that will take you straight to the mission instead of the uh, upgrades I'm choosing. But with that said, let's get into the upgrades. We're going to first check out what kind of cool base upgrades that we can get uh, for our uh, for our, our friendly Terran faction here. It uh, looks like projectile accelerator will be very important for this upcoming mission. Adding that plus one range will definitely help fight against the Zerg when they start to attack our base. And stem pass will up the DPS of the... Uh, Marines that way they fire a lot faster now um, If you want to you could theoretically change those if um, But those two are the ones I'm gonna go for and if you want to follow along with the guide while you play feel free um, But yeah, I just wanted to uh, Choose I just wanted to explain the upgrades. I was going for before the mission starts um, But when Tyka st stops talking we'll get started with the mission and I'll see you guys in a moment Jimmy, just like Mobius said, 
easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, oh, hell. Them critters were just hiding on the ground, waiting? No idea, but you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's get started by getting a few SUVs queued up in our command center. We have one medic and three marines. That means we're going to definitely want to get it, another medic first outside of our barracks. And the reason why we do that is because the AI on Brutal uh, just tend to target your uh, your lone medic more. Uh, that, and you don't want to lose your medic. You want to make sure that you keep your, your healers. That way you can continuously have sustain in a fight. Now, the achievements for this mission are fairly simple. Uh, we're going to get both of them done today. Uh, we're going to get the 15 minutes or less. We finish this mission in under 15 minutes. That's awesome. And you have to do that on hard difficulty at least. And you also have to not lose a unit to the Stone Zealots, which are at the very end. And that is why on this uh, mission, I don't like to use a lot of Marines. What I use my Marines for mostly is to defend my base and to defeat air units, which there's only one Void Ray at the very end, and we, we really want to focus that down. Now, I'm going to send in our units right after we stim our uh, Marines, of course. going to take down those Stalkers very, very easily. So the strategy for this mission, as I said, is going to be uh, Marauders. That is really what you're going to put it in, uh, put your forces into. Um, it's going to be Medic Marauder, and that is your main uh, attack force when you go and take on the Protoss. There will be a few Marines inside of your uh, inside of your attack force, but they will be specifically uh, targeting down the Void Ray. So you'll have like maybe five maximum. You, the rest of your forces, the rest of your attack force is going to be strictly Medics, strictly Marauders. Now. The way I like to approach this is you kind of build like in a back and forth manner. You don't, you don't really need a ton of builders for this one. You kind of want to, because you're not going to be able to get enough uh, funds to be able to have multiple builders. You're just wanting to make sure that you're optimizing a build order um, that allows you to defend your base to make sure that you have stuff consistently producing as well. You want your unit producing structures to consistently produce units and you don't want to get supply blocked. Now, as you see here, that projectile accelerator that we got earlier is already helping us out, keeping an eye on that Marine. That way we can micro him if needed. So that projectile accelerator gives us plus one range on our bunkers. That is extremely important simply because we really, really need um, that range that it gives us when fighting stuff like a Mutalisk or, uh, or Roaches or Hydras because they, they'll be able to hit us. and Yeah, we'll be able to hit them, but it gives us more time to, to attack them and do some damage. So as you saw there, uh, it was a supply depot, then a bunker, then a supply depot, then a bunker, then it was a supply depot. That's kind of the build that you're kind of wanting to do. You want to get uh, a non-supply depot building and then go back to a supply depot, a supply depot, a non-supply depot building, then a supply depot. That's kind of the alternating um, like build order that you're going to be doing with that one SCV that we're using. So, here we have that supply depot. We're going to get that engineering bay, getting that uh, plus one attack, plus one armor uh, later on. And then after that, after we get the uh, engineering bay built, we're going to get yet another uh, supply depot. It, it's, it's a very, very simple build order. Um, at the very early stages of, of this mission, it, you want to make sure that you don't get supply blocked, especially if you're trying to go for that 15-minute marker. Um, I've optimized this build order. It should work for you. The only issue is is that um, that I would say that you're going to have in this mission is these Zerg attacks. These Zerg attacks come at the most like inopportune times, and your your bunkers can get absolutely uh, toasted by them, and I, I, I hate it. 
Now, with your lone bu uh, barracks for now, you're going to do a certain um, a certain pattern. You're going to queue up a marine, queue up a, a marauder, queue up a medic, then a marine, a uh, medic, marauder, marine, mar a medic, marauder. And you're going to do that pretty much the entire time because we want to create a certain balance with our units. Uh, especially in this early part. Later on, we'll just queue up a bunch of Marauders. But for right now, we're focusing on Marine, Medic, Marauder. Marine, Medic, Marauder. And that's kind of the build order that you want to go for out uh, with your with with only one barracks so far, because we want to make sure that we consistently put into our uh, into our Marauders, because that's the most important part of this mission. If you don't have enough Marauders for the final uh, for the final three uh, Stone uh, Zealots, you're gonna get absolutely like you're, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna last and it's gonna suck especially if you lose all your units now keeping an eye on our forces right now we're doing perfectly fine getting ready to i think i, I guess i just stemmed them for fun i thought there was gonna be an attack coming but no, no attack just stem for fun they like drugs keeping an eye on that again it's fairly slow start I guess the only thing I should talk about is the research points. Um, there will not be a time that I don't go for research. I will always, always, always go for research in every single mission. Uh, it is I, I, I just like that extra ten thousand credits that you get when you max out the lab. But yeah, um, at a certain point, you are gonna want to stop building marines because, as I said, you don't need a ton of marines. You, if your force is a majority Marines, then you did something wrong. If you have a force as majority marauder, uh, if you have a force as majority marauders, then you did something right, because that's really what your force is supposed to be. It's supposed to be just a non-stop. Uh, it's just supposed to be this this thick force of of marauders that are supposed to uh, just steamroll over everything and everyone. Now. After that attack that comes in at the 9 minute marker, you are going to want to uh, send out your force to go get that other research point that is just to the left of your base. But you have to go through a bunch of crap that you don't really want to go through, but you kind of have to, uh, to go get it. You kind of have to make a detour. So, I'm going to make another tech lab. That way we can get those marauders out of that next one. Pre-stim. Going to send in our forces, making sure we're leading with our tanks, because that's extremely important. Then attack the spine crawlers. After that, no time to waste, because we already are at the 10 minute marker. We want to get to the, we want to beat this mission sub 15, making sure that we're leaving stuff in our base. We don't need to. We're going to bait out those stalkers. Then what we're going to do is go in and we're actually usually in these scenarios i like to target down uh, the pylons but you don't have to uh, if there's two pylons you're going to want to just take on the uh, photon cannons um if there's only one then target down the pylon it, it's it's not it's just mildly inconveniencing just that one one zealot that got destroyed so here's that example, that pylon with two of those photon cannons. We're just going to send in the uh, our, force, our, our marauders to destroy that pylon really, really quick. And then, boom, they powered off the uh, photon cannons, leaving it. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that's kind of when you want to take on the uh, just like a lone pylon versus two pylons. In this part, I like to just charge up with only my marauders. Let them take on the pylons while those force fields kind of chill. Get our forces away from that zerg attack. And boom. So we turned off all the uh, photon cannons, leaving only the uh, High Templar. And that is our main uh, our main worry is because he has a psionic storm. And we don't want to lose our, our marauders to it. Making sure that we lost a marauder to it. But at least we got all the... Uh, the <laughs> at least we got all the enemies. That's, 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 that's at least a positive. Now, stim up your, your marines because their main priority is to take on that void ray. 
There we go. Took on the Void Ray. Gonna take on, uh, destroy that pylon. Again, charge in, destroy the pylon. Don't worry about the three photon cannons. Just go in, destroy it, get the research point. And then we have only two minutes to get to the Stone Zealots. So we're just gonna keep going. Stim in and attack command. Clear out this area. Making sure that we're not getting supply depot, uh, supply blocks. So we're throwing down more supply depots. Only marauders at this part, by the way, when you queue up stuff for your barracks. You don't need any more, uh, you don't need really any more medics. You don't need any marines. Just queue up a bunch of marauders. And have the rally point set for this area because we don't want to waste any time. And here it is. With your, <laughs> if you have a marine still, uh, stim them. Go grab that final research point on the right. Uh, making sure that we clear out the area. I still got some stalkers there, but that force field is down. To trigger the stone zealots, all you have to do is hit that little beacon. Once you hit that beacon, immediately send all your forces to this left zealot. Because they're going to still have to walk over to you. So you'll have time to kill that one zealot. Then you're going to kill the middle zealot. Keeping an eye on your forces. If they get hurt, then micro them away. And then target down the final stone zealot. But you have enough medics... Uh, doing their thing, so we'll be fine. And that is smash and grab on brutal difficulty. Done sub 15. I do hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below, as well as a subscribe if you would like to see any more of this content. Um, I hope, again, I really do hope that it, uh, this helped out. And if it did, if it didn't, sorry, uh, if it didn't, please leave a comment down below, and I'll help you out with this as well. A uh, quick look at the debriefing area to make sure that we definitely did get all those achievements. And we did. So I'll see you guys for the next mission. Thank you guys for watching.